Hi, and welcome to this video about Academic Search Complete. If you're looking for an easy database to search some of the library's many resources, Academic Search Complete is for you. You can think of a database as a gateway to information or a searchable collection of information. This one happens to include scholarly articles, magazines, newspapers, and much more. It also has an interdisciplinary focus, so it covers lots of different fields, including humanities, social science, and education. It's a great place to start your research. There are lots of ways to access Academic Search Complete. You might find a link on your course guide under our research guides, or you can click the databases link to get to the database directly. Since this is such a popular one, it's always listed under our top databases on the database page. No matter what, you want to make sure that you get to any of our databases, including Academic Search Complete, through the library website rather than through Google. Especially if you're off campus, navigating through the library website will make sure that you can authenticate with your UNCG username and password so that you can access all the great resources we have available for students, faculty, and staff. I'm interested in WikiLeaks, and that's still pretty broad. I could use web resources to help me narrow things down to a specific argument, and I can also use this database to help me do that. It's important to point out that database searching is not like Google or other search engine searching. In Google, I might try searching a question like, how does WikiLeaks protect its sources? In Google, I would get lots of results for this search, but here I get a note that my initial search query did not yield any results. The database tried to find me some relevant results, and I can try looking through these to see if any major concepts leap out at me as potential search terms. When searching in a library database, I'm going to keep my search terms general and broken into keywords. So keywords here are going to include WikiLeaks, and I'll start there. Other keywords that might be useful for me with this topic might be sources, privacy, security, and so on. It's a good idea to get in the habit of brainstorming keywords related to your topic before you start searching, and you can always add more to your list later. Since I started with just WikiLeaks, I get over 1,500 results, and I definitely need to narrow my results down. I can use these additional search boxes here to limit my results. I'm going to use the word privacy to stand in for that idea of protecting its sources. So privacy here in the second box. And now I've got 44 results. All 44 of these results should deal with both WikiLeaks and privacy. The and in between here connects the two. I could add another search term in my third box here, or I can just take a look through my results list and see what looks interesting. You'll want to play with your search terms and brainstorm new keywords anytime that you feel like you're not getting exactly what you need. Because I know that I need a few scholarly or peer-reviewed sources for this assignment, I'm going to refine my results a little more by checking the scholarly peer-reviewed box on the left side of the screen. You'll still want to make sure the articles you're finding have the characteristics you learned about in the peer review in three minutes video, but this will help filter out things that are clearly magazines or newspapers. I'm going to take a look at my first result here. If I click on the title, I get a lot more information about it, including all the information I need to cite it article title, author, journal title, date, volume, issue, pages, and so on. I also get information about the author's affiliations. In this case, if I follow my footnote down, I can see this author is affiliated with the University of Southern California, and I get an abstract. Reading the abstract is a critical part of the research process because it helps you decide if the whole article will be useful to you. Take a few minutes to read this and you'll save yourself tons of time later on. If it sounds like it will help you make your argument, you can look for full text options at the top of the page. In this case, we have PDF full text, which we can click on to view the full text. You might also see links like HTML full text and check for full text. You can always chat with a librarian if you're having trouble finding the full text of a source you think you want to use. As I'm scrolling through this article, I can see that it has a lot of in-text citations. And it also, at the end, this one's pretty lengthy, 14 pages, at the end has a nice long references list. This is another sign that this is a scholarly or peer-reviewed article. Newspapers and magazines don't typically have these nice long reference lists at the end or in-text citations. Back on the article page, 
You can take a look at the keywords or subject terms that are listed here to help you get more ideas for search terms later on. So for instance, I might try data security, one of the subject terms listed, instead of privacy. This takes me down to eight results, a really small set, and that might be exactly what I need, or I might need to expand things back out a little bit more. But for now, I'm gonna click into my same article I was looking at before. I highly recommend using the tools on the right to email yourself the article. You can put your email address in, subject line, WikiLeaks article in this case, you can change the citation format so that it sends you an APA citation. These are generated, so you do want to double check them, but it's a great starting point. And it'll also send you the PDF. So if I click send, I'll get this all as an email. If you prefer to just keep a list of links of sources that you're finding, use the permalink button here and then copy and paste the permalink. So this is a permalink, which means it's stable, permanent. As long as we have this database, you should be able to access this with your UNCG login information. The link that's up at the top here is not going to last. So it may not work later today. It may not work off campus. You want to make sure that you're using these permalinks because they're going to make that whole process easier. I hope this introduction to Academic Search Complete helps you find great library resources. And always remember that if you need help, you can come see us or click chat with a librarian on the library website. Happy research.